chances are you've shot on one of these small disposable film cameras. Now this is because they offer a soft, summery and nostalgic vibe, uh, which is often cool for festivals and other spontaneous events. What if we could achieve this film aesthetic on your digital camera without having to constantly buy these cameras? Find out at the end of the video for a free preset where you can achieve the exact same look as this film camera. Alright, safety first. Alright. Safety first. Yeah, let's do it. Hey. <laughs> So, what we're gonna do is take apart this camera with uh, one of these screwdrivers. Not the screwdriver, but the flathead. <laughs> Basically take the lens from this camera and put it onto this camera that I have here, which is a Canon EOS R50. Nice little small camera, so for anyone that has a small camera and you're you know, wanting to save money on lenses, this is a very good idea. I mean, if it works, we'll see if it works I don't first. think you have any flatheads. <laughs> I'm gonna put this lens on this lens. Actually, wait, I'm gonna put this lens cap on, no, not this lens cap. <laughs> We're gonna dismantle this camera and take the lens from this camera and put it on this lens cap. That should give us a nice effect where we take photos that will look similar to this camera. All right, so once you have a small camera that you're gonna use and obviously the Kodak camera, you're gonna need a drill with a 16 mil drill piece, which you're gonna use to drill through uh, the lens cap. And you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver um, and then you need things like super glue and things just to sort of force the, the lens. Yeah. We're not gonna sit here and run you for a construction tutorial. Yeah. So we'll just uh, get cracking. Yeah, it's an experiment. So yeah. you can watch us yeah. while we try and make this lens. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Pull it out like that. Like uh, there. But well, what's this? Look, oh, right here. Yeah, come back. Oh, that thing. Surely that's something. Yeah, well, what's this? I don't know. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, this is all. Oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that film's. Yeah, that's not usable anymore. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, that's where we're at. Oh, what the f Oh, that's, just, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight. Definitely the I don't know if we drilled it in the center completely, but... We'll try. There's only, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. If we test it on the camera, so I guess we'll do that. So, it's a moment of truth if it fits through. Alright, moment of truth. Alright, moment of truth. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to enable something on the camera that lets us. Whoa! Alright, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's sick. Is there any part in focus? It's like close. Yeah, up. your hand, right? Actually? Yeah, hold your hand. So when you set this up, most cameras are gonna have like a feature which doesn't enable the shutter to take a photo. It doesn't have a lens on. So you gotta go to the menu system and uh, find the menu item that says enable shutter without lens. Yeah. All right, good job. Jeez. Turned All out right. well. Yeah, it did. First go. Luckily, you might have to make some tweaks when you're doing it. I thought we'd have to use glue, yeah. but that wasn't the case. So we're gonna go take some test photos now around the streets and uh, we'll show you the results and I'll show you that free preset that you can get at the end of the video. Stick around. We have the lens on the camera. We're just gonna go around the streets and test out the lens basically. Um, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to take some shots of details because the lens only focuses from 1.2 to 3 meters, I think it was. Make sure you take photos of things that are generally close to you so they're in focus. Yeah, let's go do some street photography. Jesus, look how like overgrown this is. We're in the we're in the pigeons, we're in the hood for the pigeons. Those uh, photos we're taking before of the coffee machine. Apparently there was people inside that building, so we're taking photos of the people, but we didn't even see them. So uh, now we look like stalkers, which it's kind of awkward. Which I am. What? I didn't say anything. All right, so that concludes our shooting with our DIY disposable lens. And the results actually turned out pretty much exactly how I thought they would, perfectly imperfect. As you can see, the images have this soft, nostalgic, warm look to them, which is what you typically get on a disposable camera. When I shot things that were in that close range, they were a bit more in focus than the further things. But overall, I'm really happy with the results. Now the second key thing that makes these photos look so filmic is the preset that I created specifically for this video. I took inspiration from the Kodak disposable film camera, the Kodak 400 or 800, which has those soft tones and those lifted greeny shadows. I'm actually really happy with the results of the preset and you guys can actually download it for free in the description 
right now. I feel like I'd have a hard time distinguishing these photos from actual film photos, which is a very good thing. So overall, I think it was a great success. But yeah, don't forget to download the free disposable film camera preset in the description below. And nonetheless, enjoy. Enjoy.